Well, it is time now to talk back to school as we are sponsored here by Providence Country Day School. And as the kids head back into the classroom, how can they get adjusted? Well, here now to talk about this and more is Kevin Folan, head of schools at PCD. Good morning, Kevin. Good morning. Thanks so much for having me. Yeah, always nice to chat with you right here on the Roadshow. So as we've all been monitoring the latest happenings and whatnot, we know that schools will be in person this year. So from your perspective at PCD, what does that mean that things will look like for all of you? I mean, fortunately, things are going to look relatively normal. I mean, now, now that that word is kind of changing a little bit. Uh, but fortunately, as you said, everyone will be here in person, which if, if we rewind 12 months ago, that, that was really in question. So we're psyched to have all of our kids here in person. Uh, we will be wearing masks indoors. Uh, we won't have to outside. So I think one of the added benefits of PCD is that because we have a small school size, but about 35 acres on our campus, we are planning on having a lot of our classes outside in the fresh air. And just the fact that, like you alluded to right there, that we can be in person, that you can have that human interaction is just such a huge step forward at least. It, it really is. I know a lot of families were very discouraged that we would have to continue wearing masks, but I think our kids are so resilient. At this point, they're used to it. So I really think the fact that everyone will be back in person, I think that will outweigh some of these challenges. And that is certainly one of the positive things, the fact that everyone will be together again. But beyond that, let's talk about some of the things that students and teachers and really families can look forward to this year at PCD. Yeah, absolutely. So, so again, I mean, we believe that kids learn best in person. So the fact that kids won't be learning you know, over a screen like we're talking right now is already an enormous benefit. Um, sports, kids will be playing sports. It's going to be awfully normal. They won't be running around with masks. We don't have to worry about the distancing again while we're outside. So I think that is going to be so important. Co-curricular and extracurricular activities, that is going to be alive and well. We're going to have all school assemblies. We're going to have pep rallies. We're having our back to school barbecue. So I think some of these community events that were really absent last year because it was so important to keep people apart, uh, these things are going to be back. And I think that is just going to insert just more joy and happiness into our day to day lives here on campus. 100%. And that really is what it's all about as we move, as we move forward here. Now, as students across Rhode Island and beyond start to head back to school, let's talk advice for the parents because a lot of them, they may feel a little bit lost still with regard to how to navigate all of this. Yeah, we've had a little bit of this, but moving Moving forward, is there any advice or are there any things that they really should be mindful of as we head into a new year? Well, if, if people's homes are anything like mine this summer, there have been some late nights, there have been some lazy days, and there has been maybe a less than desirable diet. So I think as we gear back up for the school year, I think the more that we can build in a routine, a somewhat normalized sleep schedule, and then healthy eating, I think that would be good. I'm also going to heed my own advice. Uh, I think particularly for middle school and high school students, making sure that any of those summer assignments are taken care of. You want to make sure you don't start off the school year kind of behind the proverbial eight ball. Um, and, and I think just, you know, especially for students who, who have not been wearing masks over the summer, just trying to do that for a little bit during the day so that there is not this gigantic shock when they have to put those back on uh, when we're indoors. Yeah, anything we can do to proverbially get ahead of the game is what it's all about. And lastly here, Kevin, let's talk Henry Barnard School. I know it's reopening as part of the PCD uh, campus there. What do we need to know in terms of this connection here moving forward? So the big headline is that the Henry Barnard School is open. It's alive. It's well. We, we are enrolling just about 100 kids pre-K through 5 uh, on the Henry Barnard campus in you know, Mount Pleasant section of Providence. This has been a busy summer, but the families at HBS are psyched. Our new principal, Kyle Quadros, is just dynamic, he's energetic, he's enthusiastic. So just the headline is that the Henry Barnard School is open and this is an exciting new chapter in its very storied history.
It really is. Well, Kevin, we wish you a great year, and it's always a pleasure to talk to you. But before we go, I must say, I do have my eyes focused on that PCD hat over your left shoulder. It's a good-looking hat. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that, that red stands out anywhere. I appreciate you, you, you checking that out. It sure does. And I know you have so much pride in the school, and you guys are just doing such a wonderful job. So best of luck this year, and thanks for being with us. Thanks again for having me. You have a good one. My pleasure. You as well. This segment brought to you by Providence Country Day School. To learn even more about the school and all that they have going on, we'll have links right now at roadshow.com.